In this video, let's look into what are subsets. All right, here we've got a simple explanation which says, uh, let A and B be two sets, all right? If every element of A is an element of B, then A is called a subset of B. And it is written like this. A is a subset, you know, you write a kind of elongated C like this with a bar below that and write B. So this reads A is a subset of B. Now to give you a quick and a simple example, let's say we have two sets. A equals say 1, 2, 3, 4 and then say B equals 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. All right. You can see that B contains every element that is present in the set A, right? So everything in set A is present in B, but B has got a little more than A itself. So definitely A is a subset of B, right? B is definitely not a subset of A because B has got a lot of things more than A. So so I hope you got this example. So A, that's why A is called a subset of B. Now say for example, we've got another set, say C equals minus 9, minus 8, minus 7, minus 6, minus 5, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. In this case, B will be a subset of C, right? So this is another example. Just considering these two sets, let's take B and C. In that case, B will be the subset of C. So this is the whole concept of subset. And another logical point would be, say, for example, let's say there is a random set, all right, which is D equals an empty set. So this set is a subset of every given set because it's just empty. I mean, every set has got that empty thing, right? I mean, this is logically speaking. So D is a subset of every set and every set is a subset of itself. All right. You don't have to like really break your head about those things too much, but just, you know, for your information kind of points or those. But otherwise, all you have to know is when can you call A is a subset of B or B is a subset of C? And um, when is B not a subset of A or C not a subset of B or C not a subset of A? So this is what is the most important concept as far as this video is concerned. So that is what is subset. All right, so that ends this particular video. I'll see you in the forthcoming videos with more concepts or problems based on sets.